Shalom. Before we don't want to start off by giving our praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bashim Hashem, Bashim Kakurash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace salutations unto the elect. All right. Uh, and um, today's lesson. Today's lesson is going to be on. On um, on salvation is only for the Israelites. All right. Now, a couple, I believe it was last video I did. I mentioned that uh, two thirds of Israel are going to be killed and, you know, destroyed. And, and, and you know, alongside of these heathens. But a. Uh, but a. Uh, but eventually they are going to get brought back and, um, you know, in, in you know two or three generations, you know, they're gonna be brought back and reborn in the kingdom. All right, so um, you know, yes, there's there's bad news for 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 you uh for you wicked uh Israelites, but there's also good news. You know, you're gonna be brought back. You know, you're gonna be reborn. Eventually, all of Israel is gonna join the kingdom. But the importance of being part of this one third that uh, that hopeful. Yasharala is um, that you don't have to suffer that second death, that burning fuel, because you will have to suffer that burning fuel. But uh, you know, if you're the, if you're part of those two thirds, Salaki, I got, I got some of my. Anyways, this is Isaiah forty five and seventeen. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord Yahushai, with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. I want you to focus on the first sentence. But Israel shall be saved. All right? Israel. It's not saying but one-third of Israel shall be saved. It's saying Israel as a whole. All right? Israel meaning, obviously, the Israelites. Okay? So, you know, we, we are... All of Israel will eventually be saved. Okay? And, and it's not a contradiction. Okay? Because... Because people always are like, oh, but right here it says two thirds, right here it says one, and right here it says this and that. You know, it's not a contradiction. You're just breaking it down wrong. All right. It's saying all of Israel will be saved because eventually that's what's going to happen. The scriptures say that, you know, that two thirds will be cut off and die. But but also you will be reborn. All right. You're going to be reborn. Okay. Let me... um. <clears throat> and that's a whole nother lesson in itself. All right, that's a whole nother lesson in itself. But, uh, you know, Lord, we need to make a lesson on that too. <clears throat> because I, I could, I could do it right here, but this is for, uh, this is for a, um, That's for a different time. This is Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. All right. And Yahweh Shai means he is salvation. All right. And we, we've sinned. You know, we, we obviously, all of us has, have, have you know, um, committed a transgression against the Lord, you know. But, you know, we try to repent from it. You know, the best we can, and, uh, you know, we, we, we try to move forward from it, okay? So, um, you know, but eventually all of Israel will be saved, okay? Eventually all of Israel will be saved, and and this lesson is from Israelites only will be saved, okay? Let me get Matthew 20, it's like Matthew 15 and 24. It says, but he answered and said, I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay. And what does that mean? That means that the Lord is coming back to save you and bring you back home. All right. Like a lost, like a shepherd who will, who will go and, you know, it's his little sheep. You know, when you're when you're out there in a farm, you know, um, and you, you know, your herd, you, it gets lost. You know, you, you go back and, and you know, you you care about your herd you know that that's that's why your value is so so you know you get your herd 
and, and you bring it back to safety, you know, bring it back where it belongs, all right? I'm a little bit off topic, but, um, you know, over there in Mexico, you know, my grandfather, you know, he has a lot of, or he had a lot of cattle and stuff and whatnot, and sometimes, you know, sometimes some of it would steer off a little bit, so, you know, they had to go back and they had to, you know, bring it back to where they belong. Why? Because they care about their cattle, all right? Same thing with the Lord. The Lord cares about his his sheep, all right? That's why the Lord is coming back and he's going to save us, you know, because if if we if we could save ourselves, we wouldn't need the Lord. But guess what? We can't save ourselves, so we need the Lord. Because at the end of the day, we sin. At the end of the day, you know, the Lord died for us, for, for Israel only, you know. You know, and those people who break down John 3 and 16 differently, you know, that's not... You know, the world is talking about is the world of Israel. But, you know, like I said, those are different lessons for a different day. Let me get a... Um, get the book of Amos. Amos. Let me get this. This is Amos 1 and 2. And he said, The Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, will roar from Zion and utter his voice from, from Jerusalem, and the, habit, and the habitants of the shepherds shall mourn, and the top of the cattle wither. Let me, let me get the... Uh, let Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, for, for three transgressions of Damascus and four, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they have threshed, gleeled with threshing instruments of iron. All right. But let me read it from... Get from no, that's not the one I wanted. Oh, let me check. So, like, that's not the one I wanted. Um. So like it. Let me get this real quick. There it is. Amos 3 and 1. So like it. Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that Yahweh Shai Yahweh had spoken against you, O children of Israel. O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known from all the families of the earth. So the Lord is saying, Only you have I known. Only you do I care about. You know? You, you Israel. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. All right? So, you know... The, the Lord is going to punish you two-thirds. You know, Lord willing, we be exempt from that punishment. Lord willing, we're not part of those two-thirds. Lord willing, you know, we got that Rakakodash, you know, to keep us from being part of that uh, two-thirds, you know. But, all right, you know, this is uh, scary stuff. All right, let me get, let me get this real quick. Let me go to the book of Psalms. I believe it was 147. 
Yeah, it's this one. All right. This is Psalms 147, 19. He sheweth his word unto Jacob, his status, and his judgment unto Israel. He hath not dealt with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So I'm going to end it off there. You know, the Lord only cares about Israel. The Lord will only save Israel. All right? So you other you other people that come from other backgrounds better hope you Israelite. You know. Because this this ain't a thing of color either. You know, that might be my next lesson. You know, this this ain't thing of color either. Alright. Okay, but with that I'm gonna say Shalom, Lord Willing it was edifying, Lord Willing you Akim got something out of it, Lord Willing, you know. Lord Willing it was edifying, you know, especially to you newer to you newer brothers out there. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.